Hello, my people. Good day, everyone. This is your Pioneer Maths and Physics class. Here we discuss anything regarding maths and physics from GSS level to university level. If you are just coming across this channel today, do us a favor by clicking the subscribe button and at the same time click the notification bell so that you can get first hand information anytime I upload a new video. Today we'll be looking at circuit geometry. Circuit geometry is basically the dimension of angles or value of angles in circuit when structures are being drawn inside the circle. And we have various theorems there. So today we'll be looking at the first theorem and uh, subsequently we'll be looking at other theorems. So what is the first theorem? So I will relate the theorem now so that you can be happy. The first theorem states that a line drawn from the center, drawn from the center of a circle. So bisect a chord which is not a diameter is at right angle is at right angle to the curve This is theorem. If you look at the theorem, you see that it's very, very simple. It says that a line drawn from the center of the circle to bisect a chord which is not a diameter is at right angle. What is this theorem saying? I will give us the understanding behind the theorem. Then at the same time, I'm going to give us the proof. Of this theorem because this is one of the theorem that is prescribed by the WAEG for students to prove. So in case you don't know that, go and get that now. Because I don't believe in the theorem that says that if you don't get it, forget about it. All I understand is if you don't get it, go get it. Is a chord. Let's say here is the center. Now draw a line from the center down like this. So the rule says that let's say here is a chord AB and the center is always characterized with O. Now the rule says that if a line is drawn from the center of the circle to so bisect that this line A, let's say here it meets at M, A M and M B, they must be the same. Now, what are they saying here? Let's go there. So we are to prove we are given something. What are we given? So given a circle AB with center O and a chord AB. This is what we are given. We are to prove that to prove that this place is 90 degrees. That is, 
A M O angle A M O equals angle B M O and both of them are 90 degrees. That is this line here O M it means the chord A B at angle 90. So it means that the angle here the angle here both of them are 90 degrees. So now how do we now go about this proof? The next thing we are going to do, if we are to prove this thing perfectly, is to do construction. A construction. Now, what is the construction here that can assist our proof? Join OA. O to A and uh, O to B. So that's it. So it means that in this case, we must draw it such that we join, let me take it down, we join that point O, point O, we join it to A. We join point O to A. So we join from O to A, as we can see. Then again, we join from O to B, as it. So the next thing now, that one has been done. So we now go to our procedure. We call it proof. This is procedure. How do we do that? From what we can see here, we can see that OA, OA, that length OA is equal to length OB. Why? You can see this length OA and length OB. They are the same. Why? Because the array die. Drawn from the center of a circle to circumference, that is radius. So both of them are the same like that. Again, from what we said, the rule is that AM is equal to MB. Because if this line bisect, what is mean by bisect is to divide into two equal parts. Bisect AB into two equal parts, it means AM from air to air and from air to air are the same. So that one is part of the theorem. We are given in the theorem that both of them are equal. So now, the next thing we can see here, we can see that for that reason, for this OA to be equal to OB, then uh, we have AM equals to MB. Then we know that for the two triangles, we have two triangles now. This one is facing this left, and that one is facing the right with and B. So we can see that both of them, they have OM from the center to the court. OM, both of them are equal. Definitely. All we are saying now is that all the three sides of two triangles are equal. Definitely, what we are saying here is what? It means that triangle, this is how to write triangle in a short way. O A M equals triangle, triangle O B M. Why? That rule is congruency side 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 that's the rule so that is all the three sides are equal then if that is the case it means that the angle here also is equal to the angle here we can now say that that means that angle amo since the two triangles are equal at the base now angle bmo 
are equal from the congruency. Congruency, we just prove it. S, S, S. If you don't understand what I mean by S, 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 you can just DM me or comment so that I can explain it later as another topic. Now, from there, if you look closely, you see that AMO, this angle and this angle are on the straight line. So that means that uh, if we add them together, therefore, we can say that angle AMO plus angle BMO is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Angle on a straight line. Since both of them are equal, we can just say that angle AMO represents the other one with the same angle, with one angle. So that will give us 180 degrees, two times angle AMO is equal to 180 degrees. That is to say, what we are saying here now, it means that we are saying that uh, angle AMO is equal to 180 degrees divided by 2. So angle AMO is equal to 90 degrees. So thus, angle AMO equals angle BMO equals 90 degrees. That is what proved. Now let's do the analysis of theorem 1. The analysis we are having here is easy. So if you want to analyze this, all we need first is to go back to our drawing. Let's pick the drawing again. A circle. We have a circle like this. So, a line from the center. Okay, let me draw the chord first. A chord. Then we have the center. The center is observed there. This is the center. Center O. We have the center. Draw a line from the center, a line from the center perpendicular to the chord. So from there, we have angle 90 here. Here is A, here is B, O, A, and here is L. Now, we need to draw again. If you look at it now, it means that we can now join this place from the center A to A to A. Now, from what we have there, we have OA equals radius. We have length AB equals length of the curve. Why length OF being the distance from center? Distance from from the center of the circle of the circle. So here we take this one to be radius to be R here to be L why this one will be D. From the diagram here, shows that A is R radius. Here is D. And from A to A is L. 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 Length of the curve. Now, which means that if this place is half of the length of the curve. Here will be L over 2. Now, using Pythagoras theorem, using Pythagoras, theorem, 
R squared is equal to D squared plus L over 2 squared. So this is the analysis that we need to get here. Once we get that one, we can easily solve any question. So this will be the part one of first theorem. The solution to all these problems will be done in the next video. See you when I see you. I remain your one and only Mass and Physics Coach. Pioneers Mass and Physics class owner. See you tomorrow on the explanation of this theorem that is solving of questions. All these questions will be solved tomorrow. Just be attentive. And just click the notification video that I said or subscribe so that I can get the first hand information tomorrow once it is uploaded. See you tomorrow.